in a while, somebody asks me to name a book that changed my life or that was somehow impactful in my life. And they're always surprised at my answer because my answer has to do with this book. You can't, it just has a feather embossed on it. But if you look at the side, it says, it might be backwards for you, I don't know. It says Richard Bach Illusions. So this book is called Illusions, The Adventures of a Reluctant Messiah. And when I read this book, it opened all kinds of doors for me. It opened up my eyes to what was possible um, for humans and how our thoughts create what we what we experience and what we attract into our lives. So the other, so it really set me on my path, my spiritual path and my metaphysical path. So the other day, um, I was uh, conducting the first session of my Inspired Creator community, and we were uh, discussing a variety of topics. And along the way, um, somehow the the you know how we got started on our path came up. And I immediately said something about Richard Bach, and one of the other pe people said, oh, you know, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. So many of you probably have seen this little book, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. And um, this book has a bunch of spiritual and metaphysical concepts in it. It really does. But this one, while it spoke enormously, like really powerfully to this um, gentleman, um, for me, going back and rereading it, which I just did, I see those lessons much more clearly. Um, but I know that this book impacted me because when I went into a bookstore, and I actually used to have the paperback of this, but um, I went into a bookstore and there was a, a table with books of Richard Box, and on that table was the paperback version of Illusions. And I just, you know, I, I know that Jonathan Livingston Siegel impacted me because when I saw Illusions, I said, I have to buy this book as well. And I did, and I read it, and then I gave it to the person who is now my husband, and I remember talking about it to my mother, reading her the little parable at the beginning, and, um, uh, or maybe it's not really a parable, but anyway, I just remember talking about it and being so excited, and just knowing that what was in this book was true that even though it's, it's couched in a story, that the metaphysical principles that were, were, were taught in it were true. I just knew it. And that changed the trajectory of my life. It, cha it, it started me on a path of learning about um, spirituality, about metaphysics, about mysticism, about creative or deliberate thought, law of attraction. And, uh, you know, I've never lost my passion for that. And when we had this conversation in the Inspired Creator community, I was so excited. Like, I, I started with just a few people in the program, and it would have been easy not to start it at all. And when it was over, I was so happy because having that kind of conversation about the principles in this book, um, or in general, about spirituality and metaphysics and how our thoughts are creative and how we attract things into our lives. and. Um, how we achieve our potential, these are the things that really jazz me. So, so that's the book. This is the book that, that changed the trajectory of my life, Illusions, the, the Adventures of a Reluctant Messiah. So go and check it out. Um, I wrote a blog post uh, related to this video that you can find at ninaamir.com. And um, in that blog post, I put a few of the teachings in there, and I say a little bit more about um, about the book and my journey and Jonathan Livingston Siegel as well. But I, I put some, some of the, the main things that I pulled out of the book in my rereading because I went back and I reread the book. And also um, there's a Messiah's Handbook and Richard Bach is given this by Donald the Messiah and um, the Reluctant Messiah. And uh, he is supposed to flip open the pages and find an answer to his question, whatever his question is at that time or whatever he needs to know. And so I, I included some of those lessons as well in the blog post. And I even found online that you can now buy the Messiah's Handbook. And so I did, <laughs> I'm waiting for it to come. So anyway, so go read the blog post because there's more in it than I'm sharing here. I didn't want to sit here and pilfer through you know, the book to, to, tell you, to, to tell you about it. Although I guess I could uh, flip through and see uh, so like here, there is, I'll, I'll just do this one. 
from the Messiah's handbook. You are never given a wish without also being given power to make it true. You may have to work for it, however. So there are all kinds of little gems in here. So read the book, uh, see what you think, and um, yeah, tell me in a comment down below what book has changed your life. What book was the most impactful for you? And uh, yeah, I'll put it on my reading list. So that's it for today. I'm Nina Amir. I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I help people combine their passion and their purpose so they get inspired and take inspired action. I help them um, get from where they are to where they want to go and to live lives that help them fulfill their purpose, achieve their potential, and feed their souls. And that's what I do in the Inspired Creator community um, and as a high performance coach. So if that's of interest to you, just go to um, ninaamir.com forward slash ICC or uh, up above, click on the link. Um, and I'm also, you know, I'm a high performance coach, so you can hire me one on one or you can join my group. If you're not interested in the Inspired Creator community, we have a new group forming soon and you can find out more about that up above. Uh, and if you want to work with me one on one, uh, there's another link. Okay, so I'll put all three up there and uh, in the uh, description of this video. So uh, if you would like to to be on this journey to realize your personal, you know, your human potential and your spiritual potential, then join me. I, I don't know it all. I'm just uh, teaching what I need to learn, sharing what I do know, and I'll be bringing in all kinds of teachers to the Inspired Creator community. But right now we're we're doing hyper, we're doing personal development and we're doing spiritual training and development. So check out the Inspired Creator community. And uh, until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. <music>